Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys your daily message. So today's topic is going to be angel numbers and signs from spirit for your divine love connection. So just take what resonates for you and get rid of anything that doesn't. The decks I'll be using here today are created by myself and will be listed down below, as well as this beautiful Organite, which is called the Twin Flame Lovers, created by Michelle from Wing and Bell. So let's get into it. We're going to start off with my Twin Flame Angel Numbers deck. What angel numbers are coming up for our divine love journey? We have five, three, three. So if you guys are seeing a combination of fives, threes, 53s, 35s, this is telling you here that a change in scenery may help to clear the mind. A short trip or vacation may be helpful. So let's just say some of you guys right now are experiencing challenges with communication. The reason I, that I say that is because the blue energy is represented by that throat chakra. So if there's anything that seems to not be flowing, communication that is stuck or challenged or just maybe not happening, it is time for us to kind of shift things up in our, you know, in our journey. It's time for us to shift gears and maybe take a little bit of a step back because that could be very helpful for us. Sometimes unplugging from someone's energy can really be helpful. And the way to do that is by doing something else, occupying your time by going off and doing something fun. Now, it doesn't even have to be like a vacation, even though maybe that's some of you guys are guided to do that, but it could just be stepping outside of your daily routine. That also helps helps to shift your vibes. Okay. So let's see what else we need to know here. Let's go into my charm cards. We have zebra unique. This is cool because this is talking about doing something that is very unique and cool to you. So if that means that you just do something on your own, I mean, there's some things that I like to do that Mr. Moon doesn't like to do. And it's kind of like, ah, oh, it's unique and fun to me. So I'm going to go and I'm going to enjoy myself to go to this particular place or whatever and just have a good time. So sometimes, especially if other people, um, you know, don't want to do the same things as you, it is time for you to take that time to do something on your own, do something that is uniquely special to you is what spirit is saying. Let's see what else. This is my signs from spirit love Oracle. We have shelter, umbrella. And it's funny because it's like, don't forget your umbrella. <laughs> so I don't know if that means like you you live in like a rainy climate or something like that. Or right now it seems to be, you know, raining or the weather is problematic in certain parts of the world. Um, so don't forget to take your umbrella. But what this is, I feel saying is no matter what, um, where there's a will, there's a way. So just because maybe it's cold outside or just because, you know, maybe it's a rainy day, still do something that you want to do. Don't let the elements stop you. I mean, obviously you want to be safe, but sometimes it's just like, ah, you know, I wish it looked, I wish it was uh, not rainy outside. It's so gloomy. It's a perfect time to get out and enjoy yourself anyways, which is what spirit is saying. So don't let certain things stop you is what I'm getting from that particular message. Be sure to not allow excuses as weather and things like that to get in your way of doing the things that you feel guided to do. This is my twin flame journey tarot. Seven of Cups, it's time for you to dream. It's time for you to get in touch with yourself. So just going off by yourself, spending some time alone, letting your creative juices flow, doing something that you've always wanted to do. Don't let things stop you. So even if other people are like, really, you want to go there? You want to do this? You want to do that? What I'm getting here is to just allow yourself to dream. It's uniquely special to you, and I feel like because that's the case, 
it's, it's just meant for you to experience it. It's meant for you to go off and do this thing that you want to do because it will be helpful. It will really help you when it comes to clearing your own mind, maybe even clearing up something that is jamming up the frequencies, whatever this is, I just feel it will be positive. Definitely for you, the viewer, and it could have a positive impact on your divine love connection if there is a challenge or a problem. Now, of course, this could even be getting away with your person and doing something fun with them that you guys have always wanted to do, okay? And maybe really coming together and spending time indoors, right? Sheltering, like in a shelter, spending time indoors, maybe a staycation or something, and really, really taking the time to just spend some deep, intimate time together. So that could also be another message too. All right, let's go ahead and get another angel number. 838. Your angels are providing important information to you and your person on the astral plane. So this is about dreams, you guys, or when you're meditating. So if there's certain information that's coming to you about your, your counterpart, this is time for you to pay attention to what's coming to you. If you guys have um, issues with remembering things, make sure that you keep a journal on your bedside. That way, when you wake up, you're not forgetting important signs and information. Also write down what you saw in the form of symbols or numbers or animals or colors, because this could also mean something else when you actually do that research or it will come to you later. We have gears, inner working. So what I'm getting here is that the information that's coming to you is about what's going on on the inside of your person, okay? You're getting some insight actually. So if there's something that maybe they're not revealing or something that's going on within, within them and it's making you feel confused and you're just not quite sure, I'm actually getting that your guides and angels are coming to you through your dreams and giving you some sort of symbolism or information to go deeper into so you can figure out what's really going on with your person. I'm seeing that for sure. All right, what else? We have reconciliation, bridge. If you guys are getting visions, you're seeing numbers, getting specific dates, you're actually um, getting having a dream where you and your counterpart are reconciling. <laughs> I'm getting here, get, get ready because this is about ready to happen, especially if there is a separation right now. Your angels and guides are providing information for you also to address certain things. That way, when you guys do reconcile, it's just gonna go that much more smoothly. All right. So some of you guys might feel it's impossible. Me and this person will never come back together. Well, guess what? It's going to show you something on, you're going to get inside information on how this is all going to work out. So you're being revealed. Something is being revealed to you about how this is going to work, how it's going to play out. So eight, three, eight, threes, eights, infinity symbol coming back together plus eight plus three is 11. You guys are seeing those numbers. That means something. Queen of Cups, beautiful. The Queen of Cups is Cancer's energy. The Queen of Cups is, um, you know, intuition. It's also about self-love and psychic energy. Uh, the Queen of Cups, those Cancer and full moon in Cancer just happened. We're still really under that influence of the full moon in Cancer. So whatever is revealed to you guys, feminines, during the full moon in Cancer, pay attention because it has something to do with the way that this reconciliation with this person is going to come about. Wow. So pay attention to your visions. It's not just dreams. Pay attention to what comes through with meditation, um, telepathy, uh, just a spiritual download, something, because that's something to do with reconciling here. All right, let's go ahead and get one more. 828, karmic justice will be served for the highest good of all parties. So if there is third party or if there's some sort of a karmic cycle that's still needing to take place and close and resolve, this is in the works, okay? It's in the works, the 828. So again, more eights, but eight plus two is 10. 
10 is completion, 11 is the way forward, ascension. So 10s and 11s, if you guys are seeing a combination of those, that's also um, portraying some kind of resolution and moving towards leveling up, going through a new portal uh, energy. slow moving turtle. So a lot of you guys might have just felt like someone's never going to get it. Someone's never going to get their justice. Some, some justice is never going to be served. Someone's never going to change. What I'm getting here is that slowly, but surely someone is going to get it slowly, but surely there will be resolution slowly, but surely someone is going to either return or it's all going to make sense. We have wasp. Interesting. Jealousy. Um, I feel like somebody may have done you dirty, done you wrong. Okay. I'm not really getting that this is your divine love partner. It could be for some of you guys, but it could be someone connected to them, or this is something else in your life. So a wasp, a wasp usually is like an evil person, somebody who wants to see bad things happen for you. Um, so what I'm seeing here is that it's been slow moving that somebody gets their justice, but guess what? Karma, karma is a bitch and karma never loses a number. So I just feel that if some of you guys, um, have been going through a situation where it's just like a lot of unfair crap has happened and it's affected you or maybe even your person in a negative way, this is about ready to get fricking handled. So just wait and see how it all plays out how it all works out in the end. <laughs> Interesting. It's almost like if you guys are dealing with a, your divine love partner is with someone else right now, and you know that that person is toxic and not good for that person, but they're connected to them and they can't seem to let them go. This person is slowly but surely going to reveal their true side to this person. And then they're going to finally see this individual for who they truly are and may be able to finally let go. But you know, sometimes we, you tell people something and they, they have to see it for themselves. So for some of you, this person will slowly but surely see the true nature of someone. And then when they see that for themselves, the lesson will have been learned. Knight of Swords, Gemini's energy, decisive action. I feel like this is what will create a decision for someone to take action, to break away from a karmic person, karmic cycle, um, maybe even take action to apologize for hurting you. Um, but I really feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with someone who who's stuck with another individual who's very toxic and they have not been able to break away, but karma is coming to where this individual will make a decision to take action and cut away from this person. So I feel like a karmic partner or karmic cycle is about ready to end. And that's why spirits bringing forth the tens and the elevens that are promising that at some point soon, that there will be a completion of a cycle and an opportunity to ascend to the next level. So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope that that made sense. And I hope that that was helpful to some of you guys out there. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section or even an emoji. I've got a donation link down below. All the these things really help my channel to thrive and grow, and I appreciate it so much. All right, you guys, thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.